Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I want to talk about uh, the stock split. Apparently, it's real news. Um, I went to my friend who was invested into Canopy. He also has investments in Aurora, but uh, he had investment in Canopy. I told him on, on the day this news got released, I messaged him and I told him to go buy shares of Canopy now. And he listened to me. He actually listened to me. But he didn't buy very much. I think he put like five thousand dollars in, so he had like four hundred shares. But he still bought it at fifteen dollars at four hundred shares at fifteen dollars. So, and uh, he sold off half of it just not too long ago uh, at forty dollars. So he made a really nice profit, and um, he still has some shares left. Um, but uh, he got he got a mail, and. So I confirmed it, like I, I didn't think it was real because I couldn't find any news on it. But uh, he confirmed it and then I looked at the paper and then I, I found the real information on Canopy's website. Oh, I, I also want to mention that uh, this deal was huge. It was like historic because because of this deal, all the cannabis stocks shot up like crazy, like no tomorrow. Um, yeah anyways um, so it's all on this information page uh, so it's under investors investor events and then a share, special meeting of shareholder July 30th 2018 uh, meeting of notice stock split uh, as the number two, number one is some kind of particular of matters to be act upon incentive plans. I don't know what this means, but uh, but there's yeah, there's a stock split information. Um, so. My pro my biggest problem with Canopy doing a stock split, it's it's good. It's, a, it's stock split is good, but my biggest problem is gonna bring the the EPS down. So let's say if Canopy made I don't know like three hundred million dollar profit, right? They would have a like one plus EPS. But now if they have a stock split, they'll have a fifty cents EPS because. Or like fifty-five or sixty cents EPS instead of over a dollar e uh, EPS. So it's good and it's bad. Um, if you guys don't know what EPS is, I have a small little video for you guys. Oh yeah, I should just make it small screen. Earnings per share, or EPS, is one of the most widely used ways to gauge company profitability. To calculate, divide the company's profits by the number of outstanding shares. EPS matters because strong earnings tend to drive the price per share up, and that's good for investors. Earnings also generate money the company can reinvest in growth. But EPS has limitations. If a company uses earnings to buy back shares of its own stock, there are fewer outstanding shares in the equation. That drives the EPS up without any actual increase in earnings. EPS also doesn't consider outstanding debt, or that two companies might have the same EPS, but one company used less capital to generate the same profits, indicating it might operate more efficiently. So while EPS is a fundamental factor in assessing stock value, it's most useful when considered along with other metrics. EPS is, there's a small little video that I showed you guys, so hopefully that helps you. And then I, uh, this is the second video. Uh, why a company does a stock split. Uh, I'm only showing a minute of this video, so because the, the other, other part of the video they talk about reverse stock split. So if you guys really wanna um, wanna listen to this full video, you can find it on the internet. Why does a company split its stock? Just type that in YouTube, and you will you will get the information.
As the price per share of a company's outstanding stock rises higher and higher, the pool of investors that are willing or able to purchase those shares typically gets smaller. In order to lower the price per share to make the stock more affordable for some investors, without diluting the equity of current shareholders, the company can perform a stock split. In a stock split, shares are divided according to a determined ratio, two for one, for instance. In a two for one stock split, shareholders receive two shares for every one they currently hold but each is now worth half of what it used to be. For example, if a company has 10,000 outstanding shares of stock at a price per share of $500 and you own five of those shares, your investment is worth $2,500. If the company performs a two-for-one stock split, it will have 20,000 outstanding shares priced at $250 per share. This means that you will now own 10 shares at this new price. Despite the fact that you now own twice as many shares, your investment in the company is still $2,500. The total value of the company's outstanding shares, known as its market capitalization, also remains the same at $5 million. Just as a company may have difficulty selling its stock when the price is too high, it may face a similar problem if the That was the video. I hope you like learned something from that. So after watching this video and this video, I have to say that okay, so a stock split will help a Canopy stock have more volume because if you compare the volume between Canopy and Aurora, Canopy has two million, like two million, two point two million volume, while Aurora has five point six. So that's almost over double. The volume that Canopy has, because Aurora has a lower share price, they have a higher volume. More people are trading the stock, and because the price point of forty dollars, less people trade the stock. So, having a high price stock is bad in a way where less people buy and sell stock, while uh, having a smaller share price, you know, increases the trading people do on the stock market uh, on the on the company anyways um and on top of that but the this the disadvantage is the like having a stock split is the EPS because canopy has 2 2.14 14 million shares right if they have a 2 for 1 stock split they almost have Half a uh, half a billion shares, and that would reduce this price back down to twenty dollars. But then, but more people then would buy the shares because it looks cheaper, even though it really doesn't. Because no, not a lot of people look at this number, the market cap. You'd be very surprised. Even though I tell my friends about market cap. Sometimes they're like, oh, it's $40. I'm not going to buy that. I'm like, look at the market caps. And then they're like, they don't. They just look at the price to share even though they know what market cap is. So it's it's a mentality. It's a, it's a, it's a psycho, psychological mentality, in my opinion, when people look at the share price. Especially people who want to try to get rich off these stocks. Because in order to double your money, you need... $80. In order to double your money on Aurora right now, you need $18. So, it's just, it looks easier to get to $18 than it is to get to, you know, $80. But in reality, it's not. <laughs> it's just, yeah. I think Canopy just wants more people to buy the stock because it creates uh, brand loyalty. This is my opinion, though. So, let's, I'm going to end this video off with Aurora Cannabis Acquisition MetroLeaf advances towards July closing. This is, uh, this is, this is excellent. If the, if the vote goes through, according to me, according to what I read in the booklet, uh, only 5% of shareholders approve, like, uh, are locked up for this thing. Oh, for the MetroLeaf side, 56% has been locked up for the MetroLeaf for the voting of the merger. But for Aurora, only 5%. So 
Aurora needs a lot of people to vote yes in order for this to go through. Metro Leaf is going to go through no matter what because they don't need a high percentage for that. But uh, Aurora Cannabis only has a 5%. According to the, the book that they gave everyone, Aurora only has a 5%, um, like a 5% uh, vote for yes right now. So they need more people to vote. Um, I plan... I plan to do a, a live stream tomorrow, voting for uh, doing a, the doing the vote on a live stream. So look forward to that. Um, I guess that's all I really have for you guys. See, if it's, it's oh, it's ten minutes. Sweet. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, please give me a thumbs down. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.